In this video, we talk about a very effective measure to prevent citrus greening in a citrus orchard, alternate cutting. Alternate cutting is based on the eco-functionality of weeds. Weeds are not our enemies in citrus production. There are some weeds we can consider good weeds, as they help us to prevent and mitigate pests and diseases. Grasses are bad weeds. They compete for water, light, and nutrients. Their shallow roots cover the soil as if they were a carpet, drying the surface, extracting nutrients in the first centimeters of the soil depth, and finally compacting it. Good weeds are those which produce flowers and have big leaves. Some good weeds have nodules on their roots, produced by symbiosis with bacteria that fix nitrogen from the air, while the roots provide food for the bacteria. These are called legumes. They help increase soil fertility and fertilize citrus trees. Good weeds also have different shapes. Some are creeping, others are tall, and each have different structures and types of leaves that allow them to cover the soil as if they were an umbrella. This ground cover prevents the soil from drying out and helps to control soil erosion. Good weeds produce flowers of different colors that are attractive to many beneficial insects, offering them nectar as food and niches where they can reproduce. At the same time, these pests are food for the beneficial insects, or the beneficial insects are parasites to pests. You see, good weeds have many different functions in citrus orchards. Their functionality leads to reduction of pests such as Diaphorina citri. It is therefore important to maintain different good weeds in citrus orchards, that is, to have a biodiversity of weeds. Field studies have compared the weed biodiversity in conventional and organic citrus orchards. They have found that Diaphorina citri populations are 700% lower in organic orchards compared to that in conventional orchards. This is due to the fact that organic orchards have an approximately 70% higher diversity of good weeds and flowers than conventional orchards. In the conventional orchards, herbicides are used, leading to soils with only grass or bare soils. A well-known case is the herbicide glyphosate, which is carcinogenic when it contaminates groundwater and is consumed in organic orchards, there are a greater biodiversity of insects. In particular, there are many beneficial insects, some of which eat the citrus pest Diaphorina citri, or lay their eggs in the larvae of Diaphorina. Among the good weeds are plants used for food or medicine. Many of these are native plants that grow naturally. Organic citrus production allows for the natural establishment of plants native to the region, such as chiltapin, haltomatas, and citalilo. By not using herbicides and allowing the weeds to grow, the native plants can reproduce and reestablish themselves. From the experience accumulated over several years of work in organic and conventional orange orchards, Feeble and our research partners have established that alternate cutting is the best practice that can be implemented to establish, maintain, and manage the biodiversity of weeds and their flowers in citrus orchards. Preparing the orchard for alternate cutting starts with completely cutting off the weeds in the alleys and under the treetops near the ground. 
This total cutting of weeds should be done during the month of November, which has two purposes. The first is to prevent weeds from interfering with harvesting work during the months of February to March. The second is to stimulate the growth of good weeds and activate flowering at the time of the highest population of pest Diaphorina citri that occurs in the months of February to March. Once the total cutting of the weeds within the orchard has been carried out and after the harvest occurs, the first alternate cutting should be carried out between the months of February and March. For this, all the weeds should be cut in a lane at ground level and up to the edge of the tree crowns. It is important to always keep under the crown of the trees free of weeds to avoid weed competition with the citrus plant. In the next lane, the weeds are left to grow until they flower, bear fruit, and disperse the seeds and so on. The second alternate cutting will take place in April. The good weeds that were left to grow in February and March are cut. The third alternate cutting is done during the rainy season, approximately after August. The next cycle begins again with the next total cut in November. These weed management times and the maximum population of Diaphorina citri are for the zone of Veracruz, Mexico. Activating seed banks to increase the benefit of good weeds. Another important aspect related to the management of weeds and grasses is the possibility of achieving a change in the floristic composition, meaning a change from grasses to good weeds. This is especially important in those orchards that have problems due to grass infestation. The proposed procedure is to carry out a deep fallow of 20 centimeters to turn over the roots of the grasses and activate the seed bank of the soil. This promotes the germination and propagation of the seeds of the broadleaf weeds, producing flowers with pollen and nectar. These plants have the correct characteristics to increase the benefits of the good weeds and the diversity of the orchard. This method of using fallow to activate the seed bank is recommended in areas with the potential for a biodiverse seed bank. This is, for example, in tropical and subtropical areas the case where germination of weeds is continuous due to no seasonality. For Mediterranean regions, an adequate solution is being sought. If the grass has been the dominant species for several years in the orchard and has been propagated by seed or stolons, the case becomes more complicated. Alternate cutting has many positive effects. Diaphorina citri is reduced to 70%, which is better than that achieved with the application of chemical pollutant pesticides. Diseases such as anthracnose and greasy spot are also reduced. There are more beneficial insects and good weeds and fewer pests. Soil fertility can be improved. Less water is lost through evaporation. There is no need for herbicides, which avoids both the contamination of the environment and potential health impacts for humans. Citrus yields increase. And alternate cutting can be applied in organic and conventional orchards.